In this video, I'm going to show you how to record a streaming video step by step. Hi, I'm Andy from TechSmith, where we help you show what you know. If you want a simple way to capture streaming videos and share them with your coworkers, or save it for later viewing, this video walks you through exactly what you need to do so you can record any live stream that's on your screen. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more great video content and click the bell to be notified as soon as it's available. Let's get started. The first step to recording a live stream is to select your screen capture tools or video capture software. We actually have a video that'll help you decide which one you need linked here. For this video, I'll be using TechSmith Snagit. If you don't already have Snagit, there's a link in the description below for a free trial. Once you have your screen recording software installed, we can jump right into step two, adjusting your recording settings. Hop into your program and play around with the settings to get a feel for what the software can do. For example, Snagit can capture images as well as videos. So first, find and select the video option. Then, since we're recording a live stream, make sure the system audio switch is on in order to record audio from the live stream. To record your microphone for voiceover commentary or to add your reactions, you can select the record microphone switch too, but otherwise that should probably be turned off. Now that we have audio covered, let's move on to step three. Select the area that you would like to record. Once you click the capture button, you can select the entire screen, an individual window, or a region of your screen. The last option is useful for capturing a video without the rest of the browser window showing in the recording. For a live stream, this may be the best option. Just click and drag from corner to corner over the desired area to create your custom recording window. You can also record a live stream as your entire screen by setting the live stream player to full screen mode and selecting the record entire screen option in Snagit. This option may give you better resolution, but it could be difficult to manage your settings and other programs unless you have a second monitor. For our fourth step, all you need to do is press record. Once you click the red record button, Snagit has a few options that can be adjusted during the recording. If you wanna to switch to webcam video, again, maybe you're reacting to the live stream or participating in it, then select the webcam button. Otherwise, to just record it as is, that can remain off. Once your recording is finished, click the stop button. The last step to recording your live stream is to trim and save the recording somewhere. Hopefully you didn't wait to start recording until the exact moment your live stream began. You can give yourself a buffer of a minute or even just a few seconds, and then trim that extra bit off by selecting it with Snagit's red and green handles and clicking cut. Once it's ready, Snagit offers a variety of places for you to save your live stream for rewatching later. Click the share button in the top right corner of the window and select from the options. You can save the video to your local hard drive or upload it to YouTube or screencast.com. If you have a TechSmith Screencast account, I like using Screencast because once your video is done uploading, it automatically copies the URL to my clipboard for easy sharing in an email or chat window. And there you have it. In just a few easy steps, you can record any live stream. Tell us in the comments what you're recording and if this helped. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when we release more great content. Thanks for watching.